This is uh, Tim Greenwood telling The Cremation of Sam McGee by Robert Service for the Blue Skies Festival. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold, and the Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have que seen queer sights, the queerest they ever did see that night on the marge of Lake LaBarge that I made Sam McGee. Now, Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton booms and blows. And why he left his home in the south to roam around the pole, God only knows. He was always cold, but that land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. Roy right often say in his homely way, I'd sooner live in hell. We were mushing our way on a Christmas day over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your cold through your parka fold that would stab like a driven nail. For eyes we closed and our lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see. It wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sammy. Later that night, when we were all packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, and the dogs were fed, and the stars overhead were stepping, heel and toe, he turns to me, and Cap, says he, I'm gonna cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he seems so low that I I couldn't say no. And, and then he says with a, a sort of groan, it, it's this cursed cold. It, it's got right hold till it chills me clear to the bone. Yet taint be dead. It's my awful dread of the icy grave that pains. So foul or fair, I'm asking to swear you'll cremate my last remains. Will a pal's last need is a thing to heed, so I, I swore I would not fail. He started on at the streak of dawn, but God, he looked ghastly pale. He crouched on the sleigh, and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. By nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death, and I, and I hurried, horror-driven, with a corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid because of a promise given. It was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say, you may tax your brawn and brain, but your promise true, and it's up to you to cremate my last remains. Well, a promise made, the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart, how I cursed that load. And in the long, long nights round the lone firelight, while the huskies round in a ring, howled out their woes to the frozen snows. Oh God, how I cursed that thing. And every day, that quiet clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. But on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad and I went half mad, but I swore I would not give in. And I'd often sing to that hateful thing and it would hearken with a grin. So we came to the marge of Lake LaBarge, and a derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice, and I saw in a trice it was called the Alice May. Well, I looked at it, I thought a bit, then I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I, with, with a sudden cry, is our crematorium. Some planks I tore from the cabin floor, and I lit the boiler fire. Some coal I found that was lying around and I heaped the fuel higher. Well, the furnace roared and the flames just soared. So 
such a blaze you seldom see. And then I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal and I stopped in San McGee. And then I took a hike because I, I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. And the heavens scowled and the huskies howled and the wind began to blow. I don't know how long in the snow I, I wrestled with grisly fear, but the stars came out and danced about ere again I ventured near. I, I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, he's probably cooked and it's time I looked. And then the door I opened wide. <laughs> and there sat Sam looking cool and calm in the heart of that furnace roar. Why, he wore a smile you could see for a mile, and he said, won't you please close that door? Why, it's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm. And since I left Plum Tree down in Tennessee, this is the first time I've been warm. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold, and the Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge that I cremated Sam McGee.